Hi, I'm Real Genet Demon, and this is my quest to play every ZX Spectrum Vega game. I'm up to supercars, so let's look at the controls. Okay, we've got up, down, left, right, and accelerate. Okay, a separate accelerate. Hmm. Oh, is this is this the supercars from Gremlin Graphics? Um, I've certainly had this on the Amiga. If it's the game I'm thinking it is, it is. It's the supercars. This is quite a good game. This is kind of little micro machines with with but with 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 fancy cars. I never played it on the Spectrum though, so I don't know how well it how well it works. On the on the on the, the Amiga, however, it was an absolute classic. And Supercars 2, which is the which is the one that followed, was even better. That's not too bad actually. Look at the squeaking of the wheels going on here. But Yeah, jump the road. Yeah. Oh, jump and go under it. Does that mean second position? Yeah. That's not bad at all. So you got engine, body, fuel, and tyres. So it's kind of the, the the strength of all of those. You can kind of you can kind of give it a bit of drift as well, which is quite surprising. It's not quite as uh, it, well, it's never going to be as quite as. Uh, uh, maneuverable as the Amiga version, but that's not bad actually. No, I never even knew it made it to the Spectrum because by this point I was actually a Commodore Amiga user. So, so uh, and a later a PC user by 1990. I was already in 1990 in 1989. I already got a PC. So, um, and by then I was playing games like Wing Commander. And other games that went a long way. I'm holding my breath because I'm just making sure I can do it. Hey, I'm doing all right here. It's not bad, actually. Do you know what? It converts really well. I'm quite, I'm, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised, as they say. In fact, I've even lapped a computer car there. That's brilliant. That was what I remember about the original supercars on the Amiga, though, which was very similar. Sort of, you could easily lap them. So, um, yeah, no, brilliant. And this is lap. I want a lap five. I might even lap another computer car at this rate. Yeah, the maneuverability of the thing works really quite well. I'm quite, I'm quite impressed. Yeah, supercars. That's really good, actually. Sliding round like that. Yes, I came first. Wow. There's the results. Best lap was 22 seconds. That was me just getting used to it and I got some money from it. And I think if I go to the garage, I can probably buy an improved cars. Yeah, I can. Look at that. Wow. Oh, and you get missiles and all kinds of stuff. Let's have a little look. And then you got the other tracks to finish as well. There's class. Oh, it's that class, the class you are. Track 2. I'm excited now. I'm gonna do track two. I'll leave it after track two because because uh, I think I think it's gonna be more of the same. But no, that's quite good. That. Let's see if we can get past this computer car really quick. Oh, we're bashing at the wall a bit there. I'm getting a bit of speed going down the dip. Yeah, we do. Oh, I bashed at the wall there badly. That was a bad one. Up the hill. I like we're in shadows. Excellent! I'm sure whoever converted this, of course, at that time would have been feeling the, the pressure of the bit the more powerful 16-bit machines, but I tell you what, it's it it does it, it holds up quite well. Yes! I'm smashing my car up good though. You definitely have to spend some money on your car every lap. Ah! Oh goodness! There we go. There we go. Oh, not doing well here now. Smashing into things. Oh goodness! What's that? 
I don't think that was good, whatever it was on the road. I wonder whether or not they would have been better with a a black track and then colouring the cars. And I know you'd had clash when they ran into each other, but I think that could have made it more interesting than the than the checkerboarding on the on the ground. However, maybe the checkerboarding ah, the checkerboarding's there to show the slopes. Ah, right. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. That's not bad at all, actually. It's quite a big name title, this uh, supercar. So it certainly was for the, the Amiga. If you were an Amiga user, you knew about supercars. And you knew about supercars too, as well. Oh, when it arrived, obviously. <laughs> Being silly, not thinking it's going to arrive. Go, no, come on, get out of the way! Oh, I'm going to do myself lots of damage in the process of trying to avoid getting, got, getting this computer car. Here we go. That's really good. I like it. it requires a bit of skill, actually, because you kind of, you can, you kind of give it a little. There is a little bit of sort of drift on the on the car when you turn the corner. Ah, oh, gosh, I made myself a mistake there, but I still might be able to rectify this by going through here quickly, unlike the computer car, and we might still be. Still be first through this across this line with one more lap to go. Here we go. I must comment on the music as well, it's actually quite good. I don't know how close it was to the original Mega Supercars version, but uh, no, that's really good. Yeah, and I'm getting I'm getting the hang of that bit of that bit of uh bit of putting that power through there. Here we go. And this is the one that's getting me this far. Oh, I should have kept the power on and drifted through it, to be fair. Let's see if we can do it before the computer. Yeah, we're still ahead. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, wow. Great stuff. Another one. Win. Oh, another one. Another win. Brilliant. Best lap, 33 seconds. And I won another 20,000. That's brilliant. No, that's really good. I really like supercars. I think it's a cracking game. Oh, look, this just shows you about them as well. Wow! Tell, is this the ones you can buy? I'm guessing you can. Wow! They all look a little bit like uh, Lotus Esprit's out of interest. Ah, uh, maybe not that one. But the other one certainly did. I wonder if you can go in the sales office and buy them in there. Oh, you can! Please make a selection. Oh, wow! Leave it. Oh wow, you can even buy other cars. That's brilliant. No, that's really good. That's that's a fully fledged game that, that you would have seen on a maybe a bigger 16-bit system. That's really good from Gremlin Graphics there. So that was Supercars. I've been your host for Internet Demons. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye bye now. <laughs>